Before we examine the use of a bonnet square, there are things you need to know. Alleles, a pair of genes, one from your mother and one from your father. Allele has two types, dominant allele, always written in a capital letter, and recessive allele, on the other hand, is written in a small letter. Next is homozygous dominant. Homo means the same, dominant should be written in a capital letter, so we have to capital letter T. Homozygous recessive. Again, homo means the same and recessive should be written in a small letter. So we have two small letter T. In a case of a heterozygous, since hetero means different, it should be one capital letter T and a small letter T. Now these letters here are called the genotypes while these physical descriptions are called phenotypes.
Now, let's use the FOIL method, which stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Let's start with the first. It should be this capital letter Y and capital letter W. Let me show you that. So that's your first gamut. And you have to write it down over here. Next is the outer. We have capital Y and small w. And then you write it down over here. And then next we have the inner. That's it. And then write it down here. And the last. And again, you write it down over there. And that's it for the first parent. Now, for the second parent, since it's just the same, they will probably have the same gametes. And again, follow the FOIL method. This time, you have to cross each gamete so you can get the genotypes of the possible offsprings. Can you do that on your own? Come on! You try! Get your pen and your notebook, then start to write it down. Now, let me show you the answers and compare it to yours. Did you get it right? <laughs>